Hello and welcome to another episode of Alex Plays Pokemon Sapphire. In today's video we will be taking on the gym leader Wallace in the Cetopolis gym. But beforehand we're just going to have a wee look around Cetopolis and see if there's anything that we can do. So if you're excited for this video please smash that like button and we'll get into it. So, we're going to get a Whalmer doll because we have made her day, apparently. Fair enough. It's nice to be nice, I guess. So what's in here? Okay, so they're talking about a Barboach and Shroomish. Okay. How about you? Talking about dive. How about you get anything? I've got something good. Okay. There's supposed to be an ancient ruin in the sea around here. There could be treasures just waiting to be discovered down there. Oh, interesting. So we need to dive again at some point. Ancient treasures. It would be nice if they existed, but given even if they didn't, it would be so beautiful to take an underwater show with my Pokemon. I mean, that's fair. Where's my house? Wow. We have a lost child. Vampire. At its peak, there are two orbs placed beside. Did you know? Yes. I have one of them. I'm just chilling in my bag. Don't mind me. Okay. So that seems to be it for this side. Oh, hello. I missed you. Let me guess, you're going to challenge Wallace? Yep, in a few minutes' time. Oh, really? You're awfully brave. Aw, oh, thanks. Okay. So we'll go over here. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Alex. Oh, that's nice. My name is Kiri. My mummy and daddy named me that so I would grow healthy and heart warm hearted. That's what they wished. You can have one of these. Okay, that honeydew berry. Oh. Oh, so she just gives us berries. Okay. Thank you. I don't know why we got berries, maybe she's, maybe she's just being nice, maybe it's just nice to be nice. They seem very pleasant in here, in Zootopolis. Okay. Yes, we're a Pokemon trainer, has many fans. Do you have any? No. Oh, that's a bit lonesome. Try working a little harder to get a fan following. Okay. Dedicated fans come over from even Kanto and Johto. It was really wild when I went to the fan club. Okay. I guess you guys are my fans. I hope. There can appears to be some connection between Cetopolis and Mount Pyre. Interesting. You used to study the sea. So you'll know about, you know, Mr. Kyogre. Oh, we've been in here. And is there any more houses? They're quite interesting to tell us about in here. For 30 years I've remained in Zootopolis, honing my skills. I developed a shattering TM. Hey, we got a TM. Brick break. I don't think you made up brick break. Okay. It's a move that's horrible. To, I can't even describe it. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Hello. Hello. You came all the way to Stopolis. You're an ordinary tourist. But I suppose that doesn't make you an extraordinary tourist either. Wow. You're a hard man to please. Okay, and then. Oh, hello. 
All life starts at the Cave of Origin, and it all ends at Mount Pyre. Why do people in Pokemon come from the Earth? Oh! I didn't think about that. Because Mount Pyre is like the resting place for Pokemon in this region. And Mount or uh, Cave of Origin is obviously origin of where you originate. So, yeah, th that'll be why there's some sort of connection. I didn't think about that. Oh look, hi Steven. Alex, we owe it all to you. The sky above Cetopolis has returned to normal, for that Wallace sends his thanks to. And that same Wallace is waiting for you inside. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be on equal footing with him. Give it your best shot. Okay, bye then. Okay, Wallace is a lover of water, so I'm assuming he's a that makes him a water type, especially where the gym is and uh, the city is and all that stuff. So we're going to start off with um, Septile, obviously being a grass type, so it should be super effective. And then we'll use Kyogre if need be. Because I had a trick up my sleeve there. How's it going, Champion Bound? He's a water type, yep. Okay. Wait. So can we just go up? Ah. Interesting. So we could have just hit the ladders and came down. Or we do what we've just done. We're level 40. Oh, well, our level 36 is not particularly good. But type advantages help a lot. There we go. And Wilmer's next, so we'll just stay out of Sceptile. You can see how much we can do with Sceptile instead of using um, Kyogre. Who is definitely over level for this battle. There we go, so... We're just going to take on all these trainers, I think. Um, yep, and we have now last Andrea. And she's got a love disc. This is also probably going to be good training for Sceptile, if we can almost one-shot everything. I'm now confused, so... And you know how we get it when we get confused, we don't do particularly well. But we got through it this time, yay! There we go. Perfect. How do you get back up there then? Is there a specific way? Oh! So we need to clear all this. Ah, okay. I see what's happening. Right, we've messed this one up. Because if you just go. Ah, interesting. Hmm. So, can we just pass by all these people? Okay. Interesting gym layout or gym challenge. I don't hate it. So, that's good. But level 39. Okay, that's definitely more in our ballpark. And we'll stay out for the Whalemar. Uh, 
Perfect. Hey, there we go. And then we'll stay out for the Sharpedo. And we should get a level up out of this as well. I would hope, or think anyway. Hey, there we go. Well, excuse me. Okay, so. And that room that we did manage to, or that floor that we did manage to survive, it looks like we're just gonna have to take her on anyway on the way back down. So, we didn't really miss out. So, take out the Whalemur now, or not. This shouldn't do too much. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll quick attack. Perfect. And bring out another Whalemur, so we'll just stay out with Sceptile. And we'll actually use Giga Drain. get some HP back. There we go, back to full health. And then we'll just use Leaf Blade. Although, unless you've got a, a move that you can use while sleeping, which I hope you don't. There we go, perfect. And Chrissy is defeated. So we do need to take these two on now. Which is a bit of a shame, but at least if we take them on now, we get extra experience and then we don't need to take them on the next time. If we mess up, so... We'll take them this time. Come on. We could have done better than that. But it's okay. Water pulse. Does not do. Or water gun, sorry. Doesn't do too much damage to us. There we go. Hey, and Lyrion is now level 37. And we'll not learn protect. What level are us? Not as high as you guys, to be honest. I just know my type matchups. Or type advantages, rather. And now we've got a Sea King. Well, at least they've got a variety of different Pokemon in this gym. I mean, there was quite a few Whelmer, to be fair. But, other than that, it's quite a, a variety of different Pokemon, which I dig, I'm happy with. There we go, so we now need to go back up here. Alright, so we need to do this again, okay. So. We come here, go down. Okay, so. We go up one. What happens if we go here? Up. Right, that side's now complete. And. We go up. Down across here, up, down, up, down. Hey, we made it. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Sotopolis. There's something about you, a difference in your demeanor. I think I sense that in you. 
what happened inside the cave of origin and what you did will I will likely learn through our upcoming battle. Now show me. Show me your power you wield with your Pokemon. And I, in turn, shall present you with the performance of illusions in water by me and my Pokemon. Okay, so we've now got the gym challenge of Wallace. He has five Pokemon. Fair enough. Okay, so we'll use Leaf Blade, which we should have probably used Yeo Drain. But and it attract as long as that doesn't confuse us. I don't think it does, I think we just fall in love. Yeah. I use a hyper potion. Well at least it means you're getting your potions out of the way now. And we Yeah, there we go. So we'll use a Giga Drain this time. Set towers in love with Okay, you're mobilised by love. Okay, I suppose. At least that means we should be able to get... Uh, there we go. So it's similar to Confusion, I guess. But now that Love Disc is out of battle, we are no longer in love with it. That's Celio. Um... Okay, I think we're going to switch out for Celio because Celio is a water ice type. So we'll use Makit. His ice is super effective against Sceptile. And then we'll use... Yeah, so we would have got hit by that Aura Beam pretty badly if Sceptile was still out. And then we'll use another vital throw just in case he heals up. We should be able to survive a water pulse. Yeah, but we do get confused, however, which is the problem. Ah, and we hit ourselves. Fantastic. Okay, so just gonna stay out here with Macket and take it. Um, we'll bring out, let's bring out Kyogre actually, and show off our trick that we've got up our sleeve. So I did put Thunder on Kyogre, and because of his ability Drizzle, which is Rain, Thunder is always 100% accuracy. So there's his whiz cash. So we'll just stay out. Because his water type moves are now boosted. Which is a bit of a pain because... Wait, doesn't affect... Oh, because you're electric type. No. Okay. Well, there goes that strategy. So let's go back out to Sceptile and hope that we can survive a water move. Right, he's building a special defence which is good because we're going to use Leaf Blade which is just a normal attack rather than special attack. Good, is that all he's going to do is use Amnesia? I mean, I'm not going to complain. To be honest. It makes my life easier. And then one quick attack after this should... Okay, we'll use another Leaf Blade that didn't do as much as I was hoping. Earthquake? That shouldn't be too effective. Yeah. Oh, it's not an electric type, it's a ground type. That's why. Duh. I've ran out of PP on Leaf Blade. Lovely. Uh, 
interesting, but why did I? Th I think I said earlier in the video that I know my type matchups, and then obviously completely forgot that Wizcash was a ground type. Well, there we go. So we'll now swap into Kyogre for Thunder because we've ran out of uh, Leaf Blades. <laughs> wow, that Milotic looks like it cannot be bothered. Just look at the face on it. Okay, so... Hey, we even got the paralysis off it. Perfect. So Water Pulse should do nothing. We still have Layer on if we need to as well with Shockwave, which I forgot about, so we seem to be pretty covered for this gym on grass and electric type moves. And we've got Sea King last but not least, and we will use Thunder again. I think this was the last PP we've got for it. I'm not liking the fact that he's got like level 42 Pokemon and a 43 compared to our level 30s. Obviously plus Kyogre, but we've just got that. I realise now that you're a thing. Authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find much joy in having met you and your Pokemon. You have proven yourself worthy of the rain badge. Accept it. Hey, And we received the rain badge from Wallace. Having this badge assures you that full obedience of all your Pokemon to every command you make. The badge also allows you to use the HM Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water, like the two in the background. And so, you now... Oh, try that again. And so, that you never forget the battle we shared. Take this. Hey, TM03. The TM I handed you that contains water pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. Hey, so there we go. We have now... Defeated... Wallace and got our 8th gym badge hello you've beaten Wallace yep we have so we should check our trainer card hey there we go and our trainer card says we have all 8 badges now So that is going to be it for this episode, now that we have all eight badges. We will obviously fly to next door. There we go. And we'll heal up to finish off. But yeah, we now have all eight badges, so we are now Pokemon League bound. So... We will probably be thinking about doing that in the upcoming videos, but for this episode, that is going to be all. If you're a fan of what you've seen, then please like, share and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.